Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I am Zemo, the dad in DPS, and we're back once again with another video, an episode of The Good, The Bad and The Script, a series where I review weapons and basically just chat about them while going about my business. And today's weapon is pretty much no different. Now before we get into that, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. It's time for a flawless fatality. So today's weapon I've been using for a while it is a Juggernaut's Bullets explode for air damage, damage resistance while aiming, lever action rifle. Now Juggernauts is not a type of effect that gets a lot of showcasing and the reason for that being it's just less damage than the other ones. But at the same time, if you're using the right build and on the right character, it's better than basically nothing. Um, don't get me wrong, <laughs> a lot of the effects like bloodied, um, aristocrats, anti-armor, these kind of things overshadow a lot of the lower tier effects, but they're still useful. And if you're using the right build, full health build, um, you are going to get a decent amount of damage out of it, and it is worth keeping if you don't have anything better to use. And yeah, I know most people will have a bloody weapon and things like that, but I think it's a fun weapon, and yeah, that's why I'm showcasing it today. So let's get on with it and I'll show you how it does. So as you can tell guys, I'm in sneaky sneaky mode, and the reason for that being is this gun is best utilising it. It has a low clip size, relatively fast reload speed, but it does have pretty good damage per shot. Now, as you're seeing, two hits are enough to kill, I was going to say an adult super mutant, I don't think there's any children super mutants. Uh, and as you're seeing, when I get crits, I can typically just one shot them. On top of that, Adrenaline isn't at max power yet, so you're seeing it's quite effectively tearing through these super mutants with relatively no hassle, but at the same time, it's not the most powerful gun in the game. And as I said, Juggernauts being the lower tier of damaging effects, it isn't the most damaging as it could be. But at the same time, gets the bloody job done. I mean, you can't argue with results, and if it's able to kill super mutants with ease, there's not many enemies that can stand against this sort of weapon. Now let's move on to the build. So the build, it's pretty much your standard rifleman build. There's nothing really exceptional about it. We've got things for boosting my crits, we've got things for boosting explosive damage and rifle damage. Outside of that, it's pretty bog standard. And on top of that, it's, it's just what you should be using for Rifleman. Um, there is a couple of perks on there that aren't optimised, but this character isn't optimised at all. She is unfortunately not uh, maxed out in terms of legendary perks and all that kind of thing, so she isn't going to be doing the utmost damage that you can do with this build, um, or with this weapon. But you're seeing, she's kicking ass with it either way. Now, I'd be a liar if I didn't admit to enjoy sneaking up on Jeff and shooting him while he's not looking. So I won't. I won't say anything in regards to that. We're going to sneak up on him and shoot him while he's not looking. Now, as I stated in my previous video, midway during Jeff's roar, he becomes completely invincible to damage, so I'm going to wait until he's woke up completely before I shoot the living daylights out of him. Yep, you keep roaring, Jeff. And now, no, he's still invincible. I hate you, Jeff, sometimes. That was mean. I don't hate you, Jeff. You're just an annoying git. But as you're seeing, we're able to take him out with relative ease before he's even had a chance to really notice I'm there. If it wasn't for those invincibility frames, yeah, he probably would have died quicker. But again, that is what it is, there's not a lot you can do about that. Wake him up, then shoot him once he's moving about. Either way, Jeff went down relatively easy. Alright, so Queenie Bobini is uh, doing her thing, and this chump is shooting her, and well, she's distracted, and he's doing some decent damage to her. Let's just shoot her in the legs and show you what we can do. Now I am getting help here, but I'm not gonna shirk it. With this weapon, you can easily... She's not legendary. Um, why did she just mutate? What the hell is going on? Um, but as you can see, we were doing relatively decent damage to her. We were taking out her legs. She hasn't even noticed my existence yet. And she's nearly on the ground crying for mama. Now oh, our other leg must have regenerated. God damn it. So we'll shoot at that. And this is the good thing about this weapon, is it's silent. 
for the most part. Um, because I am max health, I'm able to fight to say max health. I'm on a like a full health build. I'm able to use a bunch of doodads to just mess with her brain. Unfortunately, she does somehow manage to randomly hit you with poison when she's just flailing around in her where the hell is he isms. Um, but yeah, down she goes. Bish bash bosh. You get to die too. There we go. Yeah, easy as that. Then drop a legendary item. Wasn't a legendary. Why did it mutate? It just works. Now we're back in Daily Ops and unfortunately it is melee day again. Um, I haven't totally filmed these episodes back to back. You can't prove it. Um, but yeah, this weapon actually thrives in, in this typical type of environment. You have the stealth aspect and then I just come up and beat the living daylights out of them. I'm going to get a lot of enemies that I am able to just smack about with absolutely no effort. It never lets me freaking go and swap between the uh, modes. Why am I moving like I'm heavy for some reason? Oh, because it was aiming down the site. I, I have no idea what's going on today. The game is not acting as intended. But as you're seeing, we're able to deal quite significant damage to enemies and then it's just a matter of punching them in the gizzards. There we go, and we'll charge them. Eh. And that's the, the kind of thing about this weapon. It's optimised when you're sneaking. It is best used sneaking because you're not going to get lower health at all if you're not getting hit. Ooh, a bit of lag. And that, that is definitely the way you should use any um, Juggernaut's weapons. You should be attempting to get as little to no damage done to you as possible. Because if you do that, then you're never going to lose health. And if you never lose health, then you're never going to die. Oh, I see. You're never going to die. There, you're never going to lose damage. Um, so yeah, don't lose damage by losing health. Sneak around. Be uh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. And shoot things. And that's the kind of thing about Juggernauts. Even in a bloodied build, okay. even if you're sneaking, you can die to miscellaneous things like the Scorch Beast Queen's radiation blasts. There's things that can still get you. With this, even if you take that hit, you're not going to die, but you're certainly not going to get seen just because of it. So I think Juggernauts does have a kind of disadvantage and an advantage at the same time. Now, would I be better off with aristocrats, anti-armor, junkies? Maybe. Probably. Definitely. In a lot of cases. But at the same time, there's no reason to say it's a bad effect. Unfortunately, it needs a buff. And that's the reality of it. Bethesda needs to pull their finger out their butt crack and buff juggernauts. It's not the effect's fault. It's Bethesda's lack of foresight. Either way, decent little effect. Does the job. So that was today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel in a different way, you can click that join link down below to become a YouTube member and the coffee link for other types of support. Either way, let's thank our YouTube members. Now the first is Golty, our only chosen undad member. Um, big thanks to Golty. And for all our dad's army members, we have Wyatt Blackburn, Waller's Me, Dale Fing Gaming, Colin G, Peggy McKnight, Metasbo, Devilman Games, Marcus Carrasco, Scott S, Bubba Doodle Mom, Anxiety Rangers, and Ranger McSpriddle. Big thanks to all you guys. I hope you are doing well and enjoying the content. Either way, today's weapon I think was fairly successful. Um, Juggernauts is not the best effect, I'm going to say it right now, it, it really isn't. But do you really need to be using the best effect to kill ghouls? No, no you don't, especially not in a weapon you're stealthing about in. Um, bloodied explosive, or well, not even quad explosive, bloody explosive is overkill in 99.9999999% of cases in Fallout 76. Big enemies, yeah, you'll kill them quicker. But how often do you fight the big enemies? Not that often, let's be honest. Either way, I think it's a successful weapon and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And with that, we'll catch you next time in the Wasteland.